Hello, Diggory Haydock here again with another vintage gun for you. If you looked at the earlier film that we did of the Grant and Hodges patent um, top lever hammer gun, the 1871 patent, we're going to look at a slightly different variation of this now. This gun, a 12 bore, was patented by John F., who, like Hodges, was a London action filer who patented and made guns for many people in the London trade. Hodges is best known for his work with Stephen Grant guns and this one by M. Uh, M was more well known for making guns for Woodward and James Woodward the Younger was the, uh, the patentee of this particular 1872 patent which they call an improvement on Hodges patent of 1871. But if we have a look at it, we can see there's not a great deal of difference, except we have the same bite there at the, on, the, on the back lump. But instead of having a wing there, which is bolted, it's actually on the front lump there. So the, the, the extra rods that run through the action bolt one, two, Three. So it's also a treble bite action. It's a it's a rip off, if you like, rather than improvement of the Hodges. And again, both of these actions, with hindsight, we can probably say were ways of getting around the 1863 Purdy bolt and the 1865 Scott spindle, which um, history has proved were probably the best systems and the ones that most gun makers use now. But this is an interesting gun. Uh, the, the maker of this gun, or the name on the lock, is Edward Payton, who had uh, shops in London and in Perth, in Scotland. And unusually for a gun of this period, it's an island lock, which is normally associated with Purdy. We see very few full island lock where the, uh, the metal is fully circled by wood. Uh, rather than a peninsula lock where it links up with the action there. So an unusual gun with a side lever and rebounding locks, one position. We'll now see how this works. Very nice chicken duck. 